Hey YouTube and thank you for watching Junkworks DIY Garage. Well, I'm under the, another rig, my 01 Ford Explorer on my lift here. And once again, no, it was not given to me. I paid for this lift. Um, anyhow, so my problem, and the reason why I got you kind of underneath looking under here is because somewhere under here, I think in the front end, but I'm still going to check the rear end a little bit. It's not a grinding noise. It's not a knocking noise. It's not even a squeaking noise. It's kind of a whirring noise. Whirring? I, think, uh, I don't know. It's That's kind of the word I would call it. A whir, whirring. Uh, and there's one of two things I think it is. Um, it's either, I think the gear gear oil, I think it might be in the gear here. I need to check and see. This looks like it's probably been leaking a little bit or quite a bit, but I can't tell if it's leaking from the motor and oil's getting on here or if this is actually leaking. I don't see any real wetness down here, which makes me think it's not really leaking, but that's probably something further up. Um, and if you look side to side here, the axles actually have rust. Are, are real dry to the point of rusting so I don't think it's an axle seal that's going into the the pumpkin here um, or differential I should call it for you all um, so I don't think it's leaking like from the seals and coming this way so I I thought it was the front end but I'm starting to begin more thinking that maybe my uh, my bearings on the outer what do they call them uh will will i don't know i used to change bearings i used to just change bearings now they got something that the bearings right in that you got to change the whole hub it's like a wheel bearing hub i'll put the name somewhere down below once i figure out what it is because it's not coming to mind but i am thinking that maybe those are starting to go or have gone bad I but I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go underneath here and I'm going to show you how I'm going to check fluids in my gearbox down here, my transfer case. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to worry about I might check the fluid in the transmission as well. Transmission as well. Um, but we have to do that from the top. Um, definitely going to lift up the front end and check those bearings out on each side. And we'll go to the rear end and check the fluid in that as well. The rear end, front pinion seal looks like it's probably leaking a little bit, so who knows. Um, it's an 01. It's going to leak. Behind here, we got our differential, which is right here. And from there over and there over, you got your axle. So, it's kind of weird because usually... In these, you'd have some sort of uh, plug up in the front piece here, the cover plate. But on these, particular one in the 01, uh, it's over here on the driver's side, I should say left side, on the left side of the case here, on the actual uh, differential case in the... Uh, in the casting there is a plug up here so here's our plug here we got a 3 8 so i got a breaker bar here uh, you can use a ratchet or something like that i don't like using ratchets to break things loose right off the bat especially things like this and i got my harbor freight 3 8 breaker bar and righty tighty lefty loosey so i am pushing towards the back no yeah pushing towards the back here and it's not wanting to go in there very well. Uh, I might need to clean it out a little bit more here. There we go. So, I got a bucket below me here, and I got a ratchet now, but it's broken loose. And not a whole lot should come out, but if it was a little bit filled up, more than enough will come out. We got that cracked loose. I went ahead and put some gloves on. Just try and keep my hands decently. Wow. Well, I'd say there's more than enough Earl in there. 
It doesn't even look horrible to be honest. I'm going to let it drain a little bit because that seems like too much to me. It really shouldn't be pouring out of there like that and we're sitting fairly level. So I'm going to let that go down to a steady stream of drippage and uh, put the plug back in and call her done. So I've been letting this go for a little while and I'd say it's, this, it's almost just as bad to have too much than not enough. Um, now I'm setting level enough, maybe a little bit cocked this side. But I'd say that's been dripping for quite a while now and definitely shouldn't be that much in there. Um, in theory, what you should have to do, stick your pinky down in there or pretty much your pinky is what I've always been taught. I don't know if my pinky would fit in this one. Yep, yeah, it would. And uh, feel down in there and, you know, if it's right there at the top of the hole, you're good. So... I'd say I'm more than good with this one. So I took this, I cleaned it up, put some pipe thread dope stuff on here. I'm done letting it drain for as long as it's been draining. It should be good enough. There's definitely more than enough fluid in there, which is good. So I'm going to stick that back in there. Now I'm sure there is a specific torque. This should be at, but I don't know what it is. I'm not going to look up. Snug is good for me, but too tight is always bad. So you're responsible for that part of your life. You get to look in the book and see what you want in there. I'm sure it's not a lot. All right. Once again, that's one of those places if you notice a little bit of a leak or something like that, you can always tighten it more later on down the road. If you tighten it too much and strip things out, you're going to have a bigger job on your hand than you want. So, I don't have any brake clean, so I'm going to use some carb and choke cleaner. Also, up to you to figure out what you want to do there. I'm just going to use this because I'm going to throw it away anyway. And we got much of the same process here as we did in the front. Um, instead of being back here on the, on the uh, back cover, right here up on the front, on the also left hand side or driver's side in here in the U.S., there's another plug right there. Um, as you can see, this is leaking from this rear pinion seal gonna definitely be changing that out but yet again i'll wait until i change the oil in this this is where we're going to check this i'm going to see if i can get my breaker bar in here i don't know if i'm going to be able to yep all right so righty tidy that was very loose actually Now, take the 3 8 These are all 3 8 square heads on these. Boy, that might not look in there. I might have to go get an extension here. Yep, I'm going to have to go get an extension or a shorter handled. That's probably what I'll get. Uh, you'll probably have to get like a wobble socket or... Um, an extension that makes it so you can use your ratchet up in this area. I have this right here, which is a flexible handled shorty ratchet, which should do the job pretty okay. Make sure righty tighty lefty loosey. There we go. Yet again, I got a bucket down below that I will be hopefully catching stuff in. Again, this doesn't seem to be leaking a whole lot other than a little bit out of the front pinion here. And it is a little bit wet here, but I think some of that's that coming back maybe. But it could be leaking a little bit, but I'm not feeling a whole lot. But it didn't come out like it did last time, so I'm going to stick my 
finger in there. Well, I tell you what, that doesn't feel like there's a whole lot in there. We may, there's a little bit on the end here. But we may have a little bit of a problem here. This may have been going for a little bit too long. Yeah, there is not a whole lot in there. That could be, I mean, I can reach down there and get a little bit, but not what I would like. This doesn't smell bad. I'll be honest. I'm curious if, I mean, I've had this rig, shoot, I don't know. You'd have to go back and figure out what the first video I did on it was. Had it for quite a while, and it really doesn't seem like it's all that bad of fluids in these. Like, it's not, no water. It's not white. It doesn't have, like, kind of a white film in there. It's very clear and good-looking fluid. But I do want to put some in here. So I'm going to find out. Um, I believe this is a limited slip. And I don't know if I have any of that kind of fluid. I need to find out what kind of fluid I need to put in here. And I am going to top this off. I kind of doubt that that is my noise though. Because I really think it's coming from the front end. And I can, I can reach the fluid. I'm just going a little further than I would want to. So a little bit too much in the back. Not quite enough in the... Or, I mean, a little bit too much in the front, not quite enough in the back. Honestly, I'm sure that would go just fine the way it is. I'm just not super comfortable where, there. So, we're going to put a little bit more in here. For now, I am going to go ahead and uh, check the transfer case in front of us here, too. Okay. So, now we have the transfer case. This is what takes the uh, transmission and sends the power over to the front tires. Um, so here is where you would drain it out. And then over here on this one anyway um, is where you would check and make sure you check fluids. Now, these can vary because I've actually checked some videos and I've owned a couple other or one other Explorer and worked on other Fords anyway. And a lot of times they're here and up here, but there's that electric actuator here. So they put it here, I guess. So that's all right with me. This is actually a little bit easier to get to because it doesn't have everything in the way here. So once again, we just put, our, I'm going to put my breaker bar in there and break her loose and I guess I'm using the shorty one because for some reason I put away my other one maybe so I got a bucket on a piece of cardboard down below in case I don't hit the mark yep yet again now I should have said also on all these plugs usually there's some sort of a bit of a magnet that'll uh, catch any debris on them um, a lot of times it's actually on the drain plug but sometimes you might notice it on these so that's another thing if it's not you want to make sure you don't actually accidentally Put your drain plug back where the fill plug is because you want that and yet again we got oil this is definitely darker this definitely this is a little bit dirty and needs changed but uh it's yeah we're pretty good i would I would say that's safe yet again it might need a little bit more but like I said I am going to go and uh, at some point I'm gonna order stuff and start changing all these fluids out this summer so keep an eye out for those videos right now we are just trying to find where some noises are coming from I'm kind of starting to feel like it's either the the bearings in the front wheel bearings or we have a oh i didn't put i should put some thread sealing on that as well but front wheel bearings or we have a problem with the transmission which i will say the transmission was shifting hard i was planning on 
when I changed that fluid out, probably changing out the, uh, I can't think of the name yet again, so I'll put it below, but, uh, changing a part out that's, that sometimes goes bad in these and doesn't allow them to shift at the right times. Um, yet again, hopefully we'll have a video on that and hopefully it'll fix the problem. So, we did the front end, the rear end, the transfer case. So all we have left is those wheel bearings and the transmission, which both of those the car has to come down some to check. So we got this down now, jacked up here, and that's just steering there. So mainly you want to go this way. And there's just nothing there. It's tight. I'd say this way I'm a little bit maybe, you know, could use some tie rod ends maybe down the road. But most of this, you can hear the steering wheel turning as I do this. It's just this direction. And I'm pushing here and pulling here, pushing here and pulling out here. And there's nothing there. It is not that. I'm more and more beginning to think it's the transmission. Because this was the side I thought I was hearing things on. So let's go to the other side. We'll check that same one. Same thing here. You know. Yeah. Nope. Nothing. I do not think these bearings are bad. I think there's a little play in the steering somewhere. But as far as the actual wheel bearings, I don't think we have a problem. So, it is either I have low fluid in the rear end and I was just mishearing it. So I'm going to definitely check and see what I need and go get some of that and put it in. Or we have yet to do the transmission. I was just leaving the transmission to last because I really don't want it to be transmission problems. But like I said, it's shifting kind of weird. Um, I could have let that go too long because it's been that way for quite a while, close to a year now. I've been kind of noticing some stuff. Um, but I haven't been really driving it that much until just recently. So I'm going to put it up, get this back down off of the lift there, uh, the jack, and we will head for the transmission. Well, I got it down now. Um, I have since put gear oil in the rear end. So if I have to take it for a drive, I'm comfortable with that. Um, now it's time we're going to go ahead and check the, tra check the transmission. Um, now you can check this one according to the book anyway. Uh, cold or hot, but either way it needs to be in park when you're checking it. And even cold as it is right now. I believe it says if it's been setting for more than 5 hours um, and then it's considered cold. I don't know exactly. But either way, you have to run it through the gears. So I'm going to go start the car, run it through the gears a few times, and check it as if I'm checking it cold. It does say it's better if you check it warm, but right now I'm just seeing, am I low on fluid? Am I too high on fluid? I don't know. Um, but I'm just checking my fluids more than anything. If I find I'm a lot low or I'm not quite sure then we'll go take it for a drive warm it up and uh, get and test it that way but right now I'm just kind of doing preliminary still so I'm gonna go run it for a while and uh, put it through all the years and I do have my door closed but I also have a hose that takes the exhaust out Well, I ran it through the gears, I got it running, it's in park. 
This is the uh, single overhead cam, four liter. And down here on the right side of the motor, there's the yellow dipstick. That's where you check your transmission fluid. I'm gonna wipe it and dip it one more time here because I wasn't ready with my glasses. You don't want to take too long, so I'm probably gonna bypass you, take a good look at it, and then show you. Well, I'll be honest with you, if anything, it's a little bit high, so I'm going to go take this thing for a drive, get it warmed up, and check it after it's driven for a while, because it just says uh, hot, and then in the crosshairs, I don't see anything that says cold, and everything shows that it's further up on the stick than it should be right now, according to the fluid, so I'm actually wondering if uh, maybe this thing's had too much fluid in it the whole time. We'll see. Alright, well I figured I'd bring you along for the ride. Maybe you can hear the noise. Alright, well I definitely hear the noise still. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm going to roll the windows up. Well, see I can hear it through that window over there. I'm gonna roll the windows up, see if we can hear it from the inside. It's definitely a high, it seems almost a higher pitch whirring noise. I'm doing about 40 mile an hour, and uh, that seems to be as I slow down, you can kind of hear it slows down a little bit, so. farmland and fields through here when I mo first moved in. Now there's just that everywhere. They're not even building houses, they're building apartments. Well, I don't mind people living in apartments, but they just don't fit in this area. Put them closer to the cities. Definitely hear the whining. Something fierce. Alright, I don't, I don't know how much video I have left and I don't know how much you want to see. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop it here. Take it for a little drive. Warm up the transmission and try checking it again. Well, YouTube, that is the frustration with cars sometimes. You know there's something going on, but you just absolutely cannot find it. I took it for a drive, warmed it up, checked the fluids. The fluids seem fine. They're topped off just fine in the transmission. So I am beginning to think that maybe I'm having a transmission problem. Um, but right now, I just don't know what my plan is. Um, I'm just going to drive it for now. If things get worse, then I'll deal with it more then. Um, I do want to change probably the uh, power steering pump because I'm pretty sure it's kind of leaking anyway. And I'm thinking it might be having a problem. And, uh, and that idler, I think the idler pulley and probably just pretty much all those pulleys um, that have bearings in them. Just kind of go through them, look at them and, and check those. Maybe those are having, making noise. I just don't know. Um, but regardless, I don't know if this was much of a video. Obviously, I didn't find what the problem was, but it is a good place to figure out, you know, where to check your fluids, what fluids you need to be checking if you're and things you need to be checking. If you're having noises, unfortunately, it just didn't work out for me. I think my noises are either from pulleys 
and I'm kind of doubting it, or deeper inside either my transfer case. I don't think it's transfer case because I did put it in four wheel drive as well on my uh, when I was driving it around, and I didn't it didn't change the noise any. Um, I do not think it's the rear end. Um, it just doesn't sound like it's coming from rear end. I don't think it's the outer wheel bearings anymore because those were tight and right. Um, so that brings me either the, the front end, uh, the front differential, or the transmission. One of those two things is putting out more noise than it should be. So down the line, you'll probably find out what it is as either the problem gets worse or I fix one of those things or change the fluids in one of those things and hopefully the better the pro problem gets better or I find out what's inside that might be making a problem or see like if I open up the transmission fluid and inside the fluid there's a bunch of metallic then you know obviously I probably need a transmission rebuild or a whole new transmission whatever anymore it doesn't seem like you can find anybody that can rebuild a transmission worth a dang anymore so um Regardless, uh, I don't know really where I'm going to go from here, but I'm sure there'll be a video later on. Alright, thanks for watching Junkworks DIY Garage, where I'm proud to say I'm a jack of all, but obviously master of none. You all have a good one.